Right, so this billy goat here has been given to me as a non-starting, non-runner. Um, I've given it a blow off to get the, the grease and the crap off it um, to make sure the controls are moving, which they are. Um, first thing to do is give it a little test on the old... Uh, um, see, let's see if we can start it. I want to try a bit of... First initial try, let's do little shortcuts a lot of things, this, doesn't it? Let's get the air filter off. Doesn't look too bad in there, but probably got clean on anyway. Let's give it a squirt of some carb cleaner in there and give it a pull and see if we've got any joy. Okay, we have. So now we know a few things, don't we? We know we've got spark, we know we've got a non-seized engine and a runner. So all we know we've got a problem with based upon that is fuel or carburation. So I'm gonna uh, strip it all down, have a look, see what I can find, put some new fuel in it. I'm sure the carb will be an easy fix. Okay, we'll start off by having these uh, eight mil bolts off of here. Typical new magnetic. Right, let's take that cover off. No, it's gonna be, oh, that, top, that cover comes with it. I'll have to get those off as well. And that one at the top there's got a, there she blows. Right, there we go. There's our carb. Um, I think it's just going to be a question of getting it off, draining the fuel, and uh, seeing how we go. Already checked, I've got oil in it, so that's all fine. So, probably do an oil change. It's got a bit grubby in there, but um, yeah, let's just work our way through this and see what we get. So, I did notice that there's no fuel in it, there's no fuel in it at all. I mean, it can't be as simple as this, I'm sure, but I'm gonna give it a try. Put a bit of fuel in it, we'll have another little squirt, another little, another little pull of our uh, cord and see what happens. No, I suspect we have got a block carb. It's just all dried out in there. So I'll, um, I'll have that apart and we'll, we'll, we will carry on. First thing to know is there's a fuel leak. The fuel I popped in there is just pouring out the bottom there. So. I'll empty that out and then we'll go for it. Taking off that fuel line. Um, it's going to need a little Jubilee clip on it. For some reason, it's uh, not clamping round tight round the that end there, so we'll get that sorted out. Um, it might be worth me just whipping the bowl off of this and seeing where we get to. I might take the fuel bowl off and have an inspection of that first. Right, so we've got a 13 mil socket in the bottom of this. So let's get that undone. Drop that bowl off and see what we get to. I'm going to need two hands. Let's get that loosened off. Here we go. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. As this is the uh, jet, I think you will see clearly from that <laughs> it's block solid, so that is never going to start like that. Let's try and get the bowl off. Let's give it a little tap. I need a bit more of a tap, I think, to get that off, but I'll. I'll do it two hands again. So as you can see in there, that is absolutely full of crud. And the rubber is all perished as well. So that's gonna to need to be replaced. I need a kit for this. So I might as well do a full carb service. So I'm gonna whip that off now. Let's the cable off. Now we've got the governor spring here to remove and then the governor linkage at the other end. So take careful note, if you're doing this, of where they all go up to, take a video or a picture and then you know what you're putting back later. Well, it's been a while since I found one as grubby in this inside it's all pretty well caked up you see we see down here look that into the emulsion tube it's oh there's the tube there we'll have to we'll have to this apart and clean it all up see what we get to anyway we'll uh, work our way through and i'll uh, let you see it when i'm at the next stage i've reassembled the fuel bowl back on it just so i can uh, blow it off without getting too much crud inside it and i'll block the holes up as i go but give it a good clean up now so the fuel hose have a look at this. Here it is here, but if you look at it, it's uh, completely cracked. Oops, I can't do it with one hand very easily, but you can see along there, it's cracked all the way on. And when you bend it out, it's really bare. Look, they just come open and the fuel just poured out of it and there's cracks both ends of it there. Um, so I bought a new one. And um, in fact, it's the same specification. I, the This part was seven, eight pounds plus fat and delivery. Um, 
and this one I got on eBay, which is identical, same reference number. I bought five pound fifty for a meter of it. <laughs> there you go. No prefurb kit for this car, but I thought I had the wrong one because the needle seat wouldn't fit in properly, and I saw this on the back of the bag, which the number didn't correspond. But it transpires it was the right one. It just it needed pushing down to seat it properly. You can just about see it in there now. Look, it's, it's seated in properly in position. So I can now start to reassemble and see where we get to on it all. But uh, I haven't bothered putting it through the carb cleaner because although it's got this sort of um, tarnish on it here, it's all clean, it's all clear, all the jets are clear and firing through. I've smoothed everything off here and wet and dried that edge down as well. And that's all looking looking good and everything's, everything's moving freely on it, as you can see. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back together and give it a go like this. One thing I did find is I was struggling to find the, number, the reference for the carburetor and then I found on the side there, just about see it in there, I think it says, um, I can't read it myself from here, but it's 214122 written in the casting there. I was first of all trying to find it from these two numbers on the top edge here, but these are nothing were nothing to do with it at all. So I eventually found, could see that one and cleaned it off and that's the one that gave me um, in the, the right, put me in the right so direction. Also in the kit we've got the... Uh, main uh, needle there for fuel flow for flow we've got a new uh, washer from the from the bottom there we've got welsh plugs which i'm not going to use and we've got a new pin for the um for the float so i'm going to use those bits and pop them back together so there we have it back together again with the there's the uh, needle valve through there and new pins in position and that's it back i've given a little blow test on it but what i might do is i might try the pressure tester on it to see just to make sure it's sealing properly but uh, no all looking good so far i've also got the new rubber gasket on the uh on the, for the fuel bowl there and the fuel bowl just pops on we've then got our cleaned out main jet there and in here as well we've got a new washer for that as well so that can go on so that completes it so that can go back together and then just with the new gaskets it's a question of putting it back on the machine and hopefully firing her up and everything working we will see. This car mounting here, we've got an old O-ring on here as well. There's a new one in the kit, so we'll have that off and replace that as well while we're doing it because you never know the seal on that's it's obviously been on here a while. So let's uh doesn't look too bad. But while well, we've got a new one, we might as well replace it. Right, that's the car fitted back on. Linkage is on there. I've yet to do the governor spring. Just these clipping over there, which I'll do in a second. Fuel pipes on, clamps are in position, so that's done. So um, down to the final few bits now. Let's get the uh, air filter assembly on, fuel take, fuel filled up, and uh, let's give it a go. There were two gaskets in this carb repair kit, and the first one didn't quite fit properly. Just up here, it wouldn't fit. So be very careful that you use the right one and make sure everything lines up. Those pins and all these seatings line up perfectly. So use the right one. Um, but anyway, that's on there now. Now just uh, let's fit it all back together, get some fuel in it and give it a pull. Right, so everything tightened up there. Got a new air filter, so we'll just grab the old one here. Although it's not too bad. Get rid of that. I haven't got a replacement for the foam, so we'll leave that one in there like it is. Get this pushed in and put it back on. Right, well, we're losing light now. We've lost it, actually. I'm going to give it a quick prime up and go. So I'll prime the thing up. Uh, let's have a look, let's give it some throttle, it's quite warm, so I might not do it full choke, I'll give it a little mid throttle, see how we get on. smoothly bit of a chug when we start I was just gonna check that plug to see if I did replace it I don't think I did maybe put a new plug in it I think I've got one don't know what I've done with it I'll have a look at that later anyway good news we're all running <laughs> 